Well, good Tuesday afternoon to you at 6.05. <laughs> well, let's see if... Mr. Klaus always starts. Yeah, well, good afternoon to you. It's getting cooler. And I just wanted to do a quick recap while I'm riding around here this this late afternoon. The camping trip was a lot of fun. <laughs> it really was. I think I'll do it again here probably pretty soon with some adjustments, <laughs> namely sleeping pad, uh, minor adjustments on what to take and what not to take. It was a lot of fun, a lot of editing. That's the, uh, that almost two hours of finished video, two 55 minute videos on YouTube. And I think I probably sat in the garage till, I know for sure, close to 2 a.m. multiple times, a couple different nights to get things edited. That takes all the time. But it was, for me, it was, it was fun. I hope that you enjoyed the video. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to do it again real soon, no doubt, no doubt. So with that, you heard my, in the second video, part two, you heard my explanation about why Dennis from Arkansas didn't buy the BMW. sent me pictures of the Porsche that he uh, he bought that he was riding in with his uncle as an 11 year old back in the late 60s he sent me pictures of the of the Porsche he was telling me about so you can tell when you talk to somebody for a length of time especially on a subject that you're aware of like motorcycles I could tell that he was a real rider and uh, he, he felt bad that he, he just didn't feel right buying both the car and the bike at the same time because he knew when he bought the car, he'd have to put even more money into the car to get it to where he wants it. So, yeah, actually it worked out good. I was, I was relieved he didn't buy it. There's a part of me that was relieved he didn't buy the BMW. And I, again, I've been, ride, I've been riding it every every evening about this time I'd go to Brackett's Airfield in Covina uh, I'd go over by Pudding Stone in Covina, I'd go down by the uh, Pomona Fairgrounds uh, like even now just just riding, putting my time in on the bike I, I'm learning more and more about the idiosyncrasies of this particular model it, it doesn't even come alive till 80 miles an hour indicated. On the freeway, I went to the rock store now multiple times. Uh, matter of fact, the day I came back this last Saturday, the day I came back from uh, our camping trip, I was beat. But you know what? Because Klaus was now at home, he wasn't in, uh, he wasn't in limbo. I took him off of Craigslist. He was no longer on Cycle Trader. He was mine. We're going to ride. We're going to hang out together. And he's part of the family. I really wanted to ride. I wanted to ride. So after I came back from uh, the mountains on Saturday, I had breakfast in Redlands. After the ride on the way home, I got home. I was beat. It was hot. But you know what? I jumped on Mr. Klaus here and we rode all the way to Malibu to the rock store. Yeah. Yeah. And look who we brought. Mr. Klaus, the one and only. 
I wasn't interested in filming it or, or detailing it. I just wanted to take a ride. I felt like he was back home again. It was no more if this and if that, if this and if that. It's an absolutely cool bike. That's always been, that's always been. And so it's funny how we're, a lot of it is just not being content a lot of times, just our natural bend, at least mine. He runs excellent. I'm getting used to the riding position. And cars pulling out in front of me. Like that. Hopefully not like this. Yeah, but yeah. This is my new uh, my no my new go-to drink. Got strawberries in it, freeze-dried, of course. But uh, yeah, yeah. Went to went to lunch at four four p.m. I normally don't take lunch. I leave a little bit early. Uh, works well, beat the crowd, and uh, eat basically one good meal a day, and that's it works well. Yeah, the the camping trip, that was that was fun. Looking back, it was fun. Uh, wasn't the most restful night, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as when I went with uh, our worship leader, one of our assisting pastors, about three years ago uh, to Lupine. Uh, yeah, that was. That was unbearable. Those guys, they're screaming all night, bear, bear, bear. <laughs> I put earplugs in and that's, that was good. But the sleeping pad makes, the sleeping pad makes or breaks the sleep. You know, it really does. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of, little bit of investigating. Uh, maybe go a little thicker, a little higher end on the sleeping pad. And I think that'll be, that'll be a lot of it. The other stuff is just fine tuning. You know, it wasn't below 35 degrees. The sleeping bag was fine. My feet got a little bit of cold when I had my socks off. Put my socks on, they were fine. Uh, remember next time to take a jacket. Um, yeah. So you can only get so much on a bike, especially if you don't have hard luggage or soft luggage. You just have what's in the top box and what you can pile behind the seat. So I just have to think it out a little bit better. That's all. But for the for the most part, yeah, it was all basically there. It was fun. Yeah, you guys were there. That made it, yeah, if it was just me, just me by myself, uh, it would have been all right. But knowing you guys were going to be there, that made it a lot, a lot of fun. So, yeah, the, the, the food, uh, the food review, um, that needed to happen. Yeah, I, I really appreciated the, the weather station we came up uh, with and uh, showed up for us, helped us out a lot. So yeah, with that, yeah, I'm out uh, riding Klaus, the BMW. I've been riding the BMW every night in the evening as the sun goes down, just to get used to the riding position. And uh, I'm getting, it's very obvious, I'm getting used to the riding position. Uh, it's not as comfortable as the V-Stromp, can't be, won't be with the low bars. Um, but nonetheless, it's not a it's not a long range bike for me. If you want to go somewhere far, we jump on the V-Strom, Mr. Munch, and we go further out. But uh, yeah, you hate to give up something that's mechanically sound that looks absolutely like a supermodel. Yeah, so we're just going to enjoy. We're going to enjoy enjoy Klaus. Uh, like I told a friend of mine, if somebody I'm not going to advertise him, if somebody walks up to me and says, "Hey, I give you, I give you a bunch of money for him," uh, well then I'll I may reconsider and rethink it at that point. But until then. It's just he's just fun he's just fun and so with that this is a this is a good drink this is a good drink freeze-dried strawberries and yeah, not a bad one some the Starbucks they all vary in some of their quality I think it's just simply the the barista that that does the con concocting of the beverages this is the difference uh, the temperature's been nice the last few days been nice after this 
two or three weeks of 105, 10 degrees, 112 degrees. That's that's a little warm. But now it's just this perfect mesh jacket. A little bit of a breeze is probably in the uh, mid mid to high 70s, if that. Yeah, just right. Sunny, sun's going down. I'm just enjoying Klaus. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you came along on the camping trip. It would have been lonely. All right. I've never done so much edit editing in my life. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it. I think I used a, almost a complete... Uh, complete memory card I think it's a hundred 125 gigabytes maybe might be might be have to look but I used up almost the entire the entire memory card on the GoPro um, I transfer everything from the GoPro in pieces the pieces I want I look on the uh, the GoPro app on my phone I snip out pieces that I want to use on the YouTube video. I snip those pieces on my phone. I, I save them on my phone and I put the videos together on my phone using the iMovie app. That's all I use. That's all I have to use. It, it, I think it works okay for what it is. Yeah, for Bozo. All right, let me let you go. Um, yeah, we take a ride on Mr. Klaus. Gonna sit here and enjoy some freeze dried strawberries. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Got the nut strawberry drink. Oh, look at this handsome fella here. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you, not me. All right. <laughs> This is one of those Starbucks that closes at 8.30. All right. I know if we go out that way, I'm going to have to make a U-turn. And Klaus here isn't the hottest in the world on U-turns. Short handlebars makes for not good turning radiuses. Not really made for maneuverability, made for high speed autobahnish stuff. All right, we'll go this way.
moves pretty good. You twist it down a little bit. Is airfield to my right straight ahead is Pomona Fairgrounds the home of the NHRA Winter National drag race <laughs> 